The Speaker, I want to go on record that uh, I'm a very, very disappointed Senator. Mr. Speaker, I, I combed through the court decision that nullified the housing bill. And I came here as a Senator knowing that I'll get the benefit of getting 20 minutes so that we can reason together, Mr. Speaker. But instead, Mr. Speaker, you want to push things down our throat by even denying us the right to speak on behalf of the people of Nyamira who have elected us. This is not the democracy that we fought for. And we must suffer collective shame. All over the world, Mr. Speaker, a Senate, an upper house is a deliberative house. We don't mind you pushing through laws, but give us a right to at least go on record that we have said what we need to say as the minority side, Mr. Speaker. What am I going to say in four minutes, Mr. Speaker? This is the high court decision I'm holding. What can I say in four minutes? Nothing, Mr. Speaker. It's really a shame. It's a shame. I'm carrying 600,000 votes from Nyamira, Mr. Speaker. And if you think that this people is popular with the people of Nyamira, it will hit you and you'll go to the ground. I saw Senator Kaluale on TV, citizen, cheating the people of Malinya, Isuha, that the affordable housing is a scheme for them to save money. It's not, Mr. Speaker. It's not. Mr. Speaker, I want to Senator state... Senator, is a point of order by the majority leader. What is your point of order, majority leader? While I could allow other senators to get away with certain things and insults that have been traded this evening, I don't think I can allow the senior counsel. He's an elder of the SDA church. He's a senior counsel. He's a respected member of this house. He knows very well that you cannot have it on record that you accuse another colleague of cheating. That is unparliamentary, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, can you request the senator of um, Nyamira to either withdraw and apologize or substantiate? There is no even substantiation because the word is unparliamentary. Cheating is an unparliamentary word, and he knows that, Mr. Speaker. Senator Mogeni, you... I, I, I withdraw the word misleading, cheating, and put misleading. Are you comfortable with that? Yes. And even, proceed, even proceed, Mr. Senator Speaker, Mogeni. even proceed. the teachers of Kericho, I was in Kericho this week and had tea in Kericho, Mr. Speaker, and they told me the teachers of Kericho don't want this thing called affordable housing. The teachers in Yamira told me they don't want this thing called affordable housing, Mr. Speaker. My farmers in Yamira don't want this thing called affordable housing. On Sunday, Mr. Speaker, I had dinner with two Catholic priests. They told me the William Ruto, President William Ruto they are seeing, is not the William Ruto they saw then, Mr. Speaker. The expectation of the poor Kenyans was that the houses will be built, Mr. Speaker, for the less fortunate in society, Mr. Speaker. Now you have come up with something that you are telling us Kenyans are going to, to buy. Which Kenyans? And the middle class in this country is earning 46,000 shillings. Already, Mr. Speaker, if you got, I've been sent a pay slip as I was seated here by a teacher, earning 49, tax has taken everything, Mr. Speaker. For whom are you constructing these houses, Mr. Speaker? For whom? Section 2A was rushed on an afternoon on the floor of this parliament, Mr. Speaker. We are to revisit it. The country went through a lot of turmoil before it was deleted, Mr. Speaker. I was in, in Libya in 2009. Nobody could dare question Gaddafi. I was there with two members of parliament. Gaddafi thought everything he said could be law. That's not the way you run a country, Mr. Speaker. You allow people to debate issues, allow us to put across our thoughts, then we, we pass legislation that carry both Kenyans, Mr. Speaker. But if you continue this way, Mr. Speaker, we are on the wrong road. 